In this DVD Studio Pro tutorial, we're gonna to talk to you about creating a simple HD DVD. Now, a lot of us are acquiring our HD footage on solid state like P2 or tape or on our digital still cameras. In this tutorial, I'm gonna use footage that I shot with my Canon pocket still camera that's HD. So let's go ahead and open DVD Studio Pro and let's get started. Okay, the first step to create the simple HD DVD is let's go over here and if we're not on the outline view already, let's go ahead and click on outline view and let's choose the untitled disc. Notice that when we choose the untitled disc that it opens up the inspector. This is where we can name our DVD. So I'm just gonna call this HD and notice when I make a space, it puts the underscore DVD concert. Now where it says DVD standard, I'm gonna choose HD DVD. And it gives us a little uh, warning here. It says it can't be switched back once we do. Let's go ahead and click OK. OK, great. It also updated our library of content that Apple provides with DVD Studio Pro. We're not going to use any of that stuff for right now, so let's not worry about it. The next step is to import HD footage that is in the H.264 or MPEG-2 format. If it's not in that format, DVD Studio Pro won't let us import it. So let's click on Import down here in the Asset window and I want to use this clip right here. So let's find out if this footage of our concert that we shot with our Canon digital still camera is in H.264 or MPEG-2 HD. If we click on import, it's going to try to import it. Okay, notice it was able to bring the audio in, but it didn't bring in the picture. So this is a problem, but we can fix this. We can either use Compressor or we could use QuickTime Pro. Now Compressor comes with the Final Cut Pro Studio package and is designed to encode video between Final Cut and DVD Studio Pro and all that. So I've already opened Compressor. I'm gonna go down here to the dock and here's Compressor. Okay, we're inside of Compressor now and what I'd like to do is go ahead and bring in my HD video clip. So here on this menu, let's choose Add File or Apple I and you can see that it already found the folder and I want this clip right here, the MV underscore 0033, this uh, HD concert clip that we shot from stage. Let's click open. Now it's gonna open the clip. Now down here is the inspector, and this tells us a lot about the clip. Notice that it is 1280 by 720 pixels. 1280 horizontal pixels is the minimum amount of pixels before we can consider video HD and then there are 720 vertical pixels. Notice that the field dominance is progressive scan, which is great, and our frame rate's at 30, and here's our audio, 16-bit, 44.1. So now what we need to do next is go ahead and convert this clip to MPEG-2 HD. If we come over here to the settings window, notice here where it says Apple, four groups. Let's twirl down this triangle, and let's stretch this out a little bit. And here under DVD, we want to find the right setting. We have some presets here that we can use. So notice they have HD DVD H.264, or we could also do HD DVD MPEG-2. DVD Studio Pro will accept either type of HD. I'm actually going to use these two settings right here for the audio and for the picture. And notice that the MPEG-2 is at 19 megabits per second, which is a really nice stream for HD footage. So let's go ahead and twirl up the triangle and we're just gonna drag and drop this setting right here on the clip and notice that it's gonna create audio and picture for this particular clip. I'm gonna click on submit. Notice that we can give the file a name. I'm just gonna put underscore HD on the end of this and let's just leave this on the defaults for right now and I'm gonna click on submit. Now, that has been added to the batch monitor. If we click on batch monitor, it's gonna open up the batch monitor window, and if we click on this computer, we can see that the job has been submitted. If we twirl down this triangle, you can see that it's processing the two different files. Okay, so once this is done rendering, we'll come back and talk to you about the next step.